we all actually took off running to get into the car because we thought something was going to attack us. They were attacked and slaughtered by frontiersmen. And they were just on a peaceful hunting expedition. Yeah. Evil. Whoa. Whoa. That just went up to a 5.7, dude. It was terrifying. All you have to do is touch that. Start. Start, and then it goes off. Is there an evil spirit that stays under here? We've been on this quest a long time. Even before this channel came into existence 12 years ago, we had investigations and experiences that shaped our understanding of the paranormal. Today, we're going to a small town called Talsmansville, West Virginia, to a place that the locals call Indian Camp Normal, where Dave had one of his most formative experiences as a young paranormal investigator. All right, Dave, we are standing here in front of a schoolhouse that is over a century old. This was built in 1913. But that's only part of the reason that we're here. We're here for a little afternoon investigation because back in the 1770s, there was a massacre of Native Americans that were here on a peaceful hunting trip. They were attacked and slaughtered by frontiersmen. They were, yeah. If you walk down and around behind the school underneath, there's a little outcropping where they would have uh, been camped out at. And like you said, they, they were ambushed and slaughtered. And this is a location that we're actually somewhat familiar with. You more than I, you investigated here multiple times over a decade ago when you and your mom had the group Mountaineer Paranormal. Yes. Yeah, we, we came out here under the uh, advice of my Aunt Lucy, rest in peace, way back when. And uh, she didn't live too far from here. And she happened to come across this place and found out there was a lot of paranormal activity up here and uh, quite the rich history with this property. So she decided to give it a try. And ever since then, you know, we've kind of just been drawn back to this place. You had an experience right over here in this parking lot where we parked. And uh, what exactly happened to you that you can recall? Yeah, so we were actually down at the rock or underneath of the rock and we had some weird, uh, there was a lot of weird activity that was going on that night. And we decided to go ahead and leave because we were getting creeped out. We came up here, walked right in front of the school that's behind you there. And we were parked a little bit more down this way. And first of all, you could feel that there was a negative energy in the air. And then when we got back up here, you could hear crunching in the rocks. You know how if you walk through gravel, you can hear it crunch. And it just kept getting faster and faster, like something was running and chasing us down to the point to where we actually all, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. We all actually took off running to get into the car because we thought something was gonna attack us. And there was nobody there. There was nobody here. When we get down there, it'll make more sense, but it's just like a huge rock wall and we could hear it come up the rock wall and then through the gravel and towards us. It was terrifying. With Dave's past experiences of paranormal activity at this location, it'll be interesting to see what happens while we're here this afternoon. But for now, this will just be a shorter, more simplistic preliminary investigation instead of an all-night investigation. And here's why. One thing we've noticed is recently doing four full episodes every month, we've been working constantly. Six days a week, seven days a week, nonstop, 14 to 16 hours a day to get these videos together. But if we do a short daytime investigation once a month, that'll help give us a break and help us feel rejuvenated. So those of you at home, we would greatly appreciate it if you would support these videos just like our all night investigations because this is gonna help us keep our sanity to keep making content for you because we've been battling burnout very strongly recently. And this is gonna help us in order to keep the channel running but also keep our sanity, so. Yeah, don't worry guys, we're still gonna be doing an abandonment uh, and all of that fun stuff on these little shorter episodes. So don't click off yet, 
you're still gonna get the same thing, just a little bit of a different format. So uh, yeah, like Ryan said, so he can keep his sanity and we can keep the channel going. As of right now, that is what we need to keep this going ahead with just the two of us. It's just a lot, so. It is a lot of work for two people, but we're, we're making it work. So speaking of, like you said, we're gonna do an abandonment. To start off the day, we're gonna be going down to the rock, to the camp where that massacre took place in 1772 to see if we can get any activity there. But while we're down underneath the hill at the rock, we're gonna take this camera, a recorder, and the mel meter, set it up inside the school here, where there's also been a lot of reports of creepy activity, to see if anything is captured. So you wanna go set this up? Yeah, absolutely. And on the way over here, I just remembered, as you were saying that, that I actually saw a shadow figure in here many years ago. One of the first times we were here, uh, with an old friend and I saw a shadow figure in here. They did not see the shadow figure, um, but I had forgotten about that till just now. So hopefully on this little abandonment, something will happen. I hope so. This place is, I mean, if you look at this place, it is already so creepy. I'm excited to get in here and do a little investigating. Yeah, let's go set up the abandonment real quick and we can get down uh, under the rock. Let's do it. Wow. Creepy. It's hard to believe they built this as a normal school. And those of you that aren't familiar with what a normal school is, it was like a very early form of higher education. So students that had graduated high school would come to this school to learn to be teachers. They would basically teach them teaching techniques so that they could then go to the students and uh, educate the youth. But this was only used for five years before they shut it down. And they used it as a community center after that, but only five years, and it makes you wonder, I mean, they had a really, uh, they had a huge problem with funding because of World War I, but begs the question if anyone had paranormal experiences when it was a school. Yeah. If there's anyone in here, if you can hear me or you speak my language, I apologize if you don't speak the same language as me or you can't understand me. But if you can, we're gonna be here for the afternoon and we'd love it if you'd come out and talk to us. We're gonna set up some stuff that you can touch to let us know that you're here and something that you can talk to. We'd love it if you'd come out and communicate with us. Absolutely. You wanna put it over here on this side? Yeah. 0, 0.0 milligauss of EMF, 77 degrees in here, and dropping, but still. All right, if there's anyone in here and you want to let us know that you're here. Did you hear that? I did. It's a man's voice. We're going to go down over the hill for a little bit. You can either follow us or you can stay here and play with this stuff. If you touch it, it'll go off just like this. So, we'd love it if you could do that to show us you're here. Okay. There we go, it's shut. Let's go down underneath the rocks and see what we can get down there. Let's do it. Can tell nobody's been down here in a while. Yeah, there's no footprints in the leaves at all. So this is definitely an area that's pretty untouched by a lot of, even the local population, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, not a lot of people come down here from what I understand. The 12 natives that were on a hunting trip were actually slaughtered right here inside this area, correct? Yes. So. Let's set up the REM pod right here and I'll fire up the ghost tube. The ghost tube is an app or a program designed by our friends Amy and Jared from Australia on the channel Amy's Crypt. And what it does is it uses the magnetometer within the mobile device, tablet, whatever you download it on, uses the magnetometer to actually determine and, and sense magnetic fields fluctuations. And then there's a word database inside 
and those fluctuations are then connected to certain words in the database, in the dictionary, which then come out. We've had some very, very strange responses through the ghost tube that have happened on multiple investigations, so. Especially considering that these rocks, the rock itself has been here for so long, it was here, it saw that tragedy of that, that massacre. The blood spilled on these rocks all those years ago. Old. What? You said go home? It said old. Old. Whoa. Whoa. That wasn't. Hello? Thank you for touching that. Can you please light that up? If you were one of the natives. Whoa. Thank you. We're sorry that the frontiersman did that to you. And there's no reason that that should be going off like that because we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. There's no RF radio signals, there's no two-wave radio, there's no, we're in the middle of nowhere. Thank you. Right bes That's too cool. That is. If I remember correctly, from what we learned we're able to dig up from the history. The frontiersmen crossed the field behind me here and came up and snuck up and attacked here under the rock. And they were just on a peaceful hunting expedition. Yeah. Evil. Whoa. That was evil. That was very evil of them to do. How many of you are here with us? Can you tell us? Do you remember us from being here many years ago? Did someone sneak up on Dave and Polly and Lucy in the parking lot? Speaking of which, if going back to that story, if that had been a human that was chasing us, they would have had to have climbed this rock wall right here to get up into the parking lot. Wow. How weird, man. Very strange for it to be so active and so clearly active there when we first got down here. REM pod going off, ghost tube saying words. And now it's nothing. Are you still here? What if we back up a little? You can pull energy from me or the equipment or anything that you we want like to. You. We like you, like you, something like that. I can't pull it up while it's recording. I'll have to go back and look at it. I don't know what that said, but that it said something. That's the first voice that's come through in like 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay, we gave you some space. Can you try and touch that? Noisemaker that you were touching earlier? Also, we didn't mean to rush down here and 
try and force you to start doing stuff here for us. We just, we just want to talk to you, and this is the easiest way for us. We're sorry that your sacred land was tainted by a, such an evil act. Apologize. Apologize. We already said that we're very sorry for what happened. We weren't the ones that committed the act, but the people that did were truly evil. False. They weren't evil? Either way, what they did was very evil. They may not have been evil people, but what they did to those 12 hunters that were here was very evil. Where did you go? This is what I mean by noisemaker. All you have to do is touch that. Start. Start, Two. and then it goes off. That's weird. Yes, that, that's what I meant by noisemaker, that thing. Hmm. Weird. That was weird. Thank you. Come over here. So, do you know that we don't mean you any harm? You can try and push that over if you want. How long did that sit quiet? I would say 15 minutes easy. Yeah. So do you like that no little noise maker? I'm sure there's a good chance that you can't even understand us, so. It's still going. There's no reason that should be going off. No? We are in the middle of nowhere. Is this your sacred land right here? Is your spirit still here? Amazing. So, okay, now that you are communicating again, oh. is there an evil spirit that stays under here on this land? A tall black shadow. Nothing. It's so weird. It's like it comes in waves. We've that was noticed so... that a lot lately. Yeah, it said start. <sighs> Let us know down in the comments. Should we do a full investigation of this rock and this school? Tell us down below. So real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this stuff sitting here, maybe give them a little bit of space because we did kind of just like bum rush this. We came in real quick and we want to head up on this little rock back here, which was probably a lookout rock for them. And uh, maybe there'll be some sort of interaction with this while we're going. Yeah, let's walk up there. Let's do it.
who knows, maybe that digital voice recorder is going to catch something too because we not only have the ghost tube running, but also we have a digital voice recorder for any possible EVP. Yeah, hopefully it does catch something while we're up here. You want to head up? Let's do it. Got to squeeze up this little path here. You want to go first or you want me to go first? I'm fine either way. You want me to go first just to check for spiders? That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Didn't even think of it. There's a lot of bugs in here. But no spiders that I can see. Just flying gnats. Let me know if you see any cave crickets. I will let you know. I take this while I climb up. Yeah, here, let me have that. Okay. Now we gotta go up one more level. Yeah. Uh, this would be hard if it was raining. Oh yeah. Right out there is the school. We're about eye level with that school right now. But this would be a hell of a lookout. Yeah. Their spirits are in nature, a part of the rock, a part of the trees surrounding it, a part of the soil that they died on, that their blood was spilled on. Leave me alone. Very true. And this is part of the paranormal that I actually love because it's not just going out and finding proof of these unexplained phenomena that take place in these haunted locations, but it's also about learning the history, keeping these people's stories alive and getting to live it, stand where they stood, be where they were, and not just learn and have someone tell their story, but experience it through the energy and activity that's in these places unlike anything you'll ever experience. I highly recommend it if you've never done it. Yeah. What do you think, did that camera die? Nah, probably not. No, it didn't, it's still going. Lucky us. Lucky us. It's almost. Satan. Now that's strange. It said Satan. Sit down. Okay. All right. Did you feel safe out here? Murdered. You asked, did it feel, did you feel safe out here? And it said murdered. Yes, we, we know you were murdered. We're sorry about that. Like Ryan said, how many died? So we had some interesting results down there at the rock. Now we're gonna move inside the school and see what happened there. Now it's quite interesting because the school literally sits right on top of the rock. That massacre where 12 natives died happened right below the school. So that energy could have seeped up through the soil and into this building, or there could be someone else here. There used to be a settler that lived on the property, so it's hard to tell. It is. And who knows what the natives used that piece of property, you know, way, way, way before the school was built. Yeah. So, yeah, let's head inside and see what happens. It's very creepy in here, that's all I know. <laughs> it is really creepy in here. And I apologize if I sound like I have a head full of snot, and it's because I have a head full of snot, and it's because it is spring, and spring every year is always a struggle for me. I have awful seasonal allergies, so please excuse my nasally voice right now. There used to be electric in here. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. 
Sorry, go ahead. No, it's just that there used to be electric in here, but it looks like they've cut it off at this point. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it get used. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like it gets used very often. No. Not at all. Not anymore. All right, REM pod is gonna go on the stage here. For right now, I'm gonna set this right here. Just to make sure we can get that. It went off when we were down there at the rock and hopefully it'll go off again. It's weird because there's a, there's a reading of point one milligauss right there. Now we're back down to zero, okay. All right, we're set and ready to go. I'm gonna roll on the Vox, which works the same way as the ghost tube, except this time it actually uses a spirit box. See what, see what words come through here. Whoa, that just went up to a 5.7, dude. I literally just watched that jump to a 5.7. Hello, can you step back close to that again for us so we can see those numbers go up? That was so weird. Now it's back down to zero. Well, it's, starting, hold on, it's starting to climb again. That was weird. It's up almost to a one, one. Unlock. Did it say unlock? I think so. That Oops. was weird. It hit a 5.7 and then just went back down. And you saw it, you watched it climb back up to a 1.0. There's no electricity in this building. No. Let me check this real fast here, real fa just to make sure. Zero, Do you, can you see it? Oh no. Right beside a wall outlet, there should be lots of EMF there. It's at a 0.0. .0. So I don't know what that spike was all about. There's no electricity in this building anymore. Let's move back up here and I can grab this camera. Who's that man that we hear that's speaking right now? For any spirits that might be in here, My name is Dave. This is my friend Ryan. We come here in peace. We don't mean anybody any harm. We just came to try and communicate with you. We set up this little red light on the stage and there's one on the desk back there with a green light and you can try and touch those and it'll let us know that you're here. Was this your school? Did it say in heaven? I think it did. Real quick, what I wanted to say is if we ask you a question and you would like to answer with yes, you can just do this. And it'll make those go off and we'll know that you meant yes. Can you set it off now as a baseline? So we know that you're here, can you set one of those off? We might. We might. We might. I just want to walk over there really fast and see what that millimeter's at, because it, it hit that 5.7, and they yeah. believe that spirits are made of electromagnetic energy, and that was a pretty high spike, so. If you're here and you can hear my voice, can you step back over there to that desk and touch that box like you did? That was creepy, man. Can you make those numbers go up? Mm. 
What's interesting about that is I believe that these are the original desks to the school, so there could be some, some energy attached to these desks. There could be. Which one of these desks was yours? Can you knock on it? It's that one. It's, it's that them. one. I heard it's that one. Oh. That was creepy, man. Was it this one here? You want Ryan to sit in the desk with you there? He'll sit in your desk. when you sneeze. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. Ryan is officially sneezing EMF. <sighs> Electromagnetic fluids. That's right. Is this your desk? The voices stopped coming through when I sat down here. Jesus. I said Jesus. That's a really weird voice that keeps coming through there, man. That's what this school was, though. It was a religious school, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. I can't remember. Are you the dark shadow, dark presence that's on the property here? Depends on where. Depends on where. Who was it that followed Dave and Polly back to the car last time they were here? Who was that? Isn't it funny that the REM pod has not gone off even once in this school, but it was going off like crazy under- It was going off like crazy underneath the rock. Yeah, this is weird. That didn't sound English. That did not sound English. You're right. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> did you catch that on camera? I think I did. <laughs> that, uh, that was something. The school up here was pretty quiet since we came up here, besides that one EMF spike. Whoa. That just went up to a 5.7, dude. The school has been fairly quiet. Down underneath, under the rock, we caught some really creepy activity with the REM pod and some weird words that came through the ghost tube that even correlated with the REM pod. All you have to do is touch that. Start. Start, and then it goes off. For a preliminary investigation, just a couple hours in the middle of the afternoon, this has been a pretty interesting, interesting experiment here. It has been, and, and like you had pointed out, the REM pod has not gone off a single time since we came up here. Yeah. And it, it I don't want to say it went off a lot down there, but it, you know, there were a few times that it did go off, but nothing up here. I think it's about time to wrap this up. Pack, pack up the equipment and hit the road. We hope you guys enjoyed this preliminary investigation here, this little short video. This video to kind of shorten and lighten our workload for this week and help us keep our sanity and prevent burnout. Make sure you hit that like button as well as hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn on bell notifications so you're not gonna ever miss a video. We got some amazing episodes coming up and I think next week we have one that you are really going to love so you're not gonna wanna miss it. Also, if you wanna help support this channel, we do have a Patreon page. Links are down below for that and you can support the channel by becoming a member. The link is in the description for that as well. If you'd like to see us do a full investigation of this area, 
leave a comment down below and let us know. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home and take a hot shower, wash this pollen out of my eyes, nose, and mouth so that I can stop sneezing. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.